Hi there, I'm Chrissy the Scottish Magpie and I am here with a jewellery haul. So my husband, oh, he went into the charity shop that I usually go in and they've been saying that they're not doing them anymore to me and then my husband goes in and they say, oh, let me uh, jump in the back, I think we have a few. So we have three, I was so happy. So we go. One for four ninety nine, one for two ninety nine, and one for four ninety nine. So thirteen pounds in total. Um, oh, so I think we'll just get it started. We'll maybe go with the two ninety nine one first. That one's a bit lighter and it's more like plasticky items in there. So we can put these ones down knocking all my stuff over so let's just get opened up it's just been so long it's been so long okay so we have a really nice stretch bracelet these are ceramic they're like um a luster glaze ceramic it's got a decent stretch left on it mm. maybe put that in a crafter bag maybe 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 and this one this is glass but this is a way to pop like feels like uh, chewing them. Okay, so we have one brand new with tags. Oh, let's drop all that on the floor. So this is a really, really cool. Oh. You think it's meant to be like asymmetrical like that. Very cool. Sluice. So that's an unusual one. Put that into a bundle. It's a stretch ring. Put that into a craft. Um, again, just glass beads. Some of them are really nice though, so I'll put that into a craft bundle or a bead bundle. These are plastic. It's quite funky though, isn't it? It's like foil inside of the plastic. It's cool. Um, probably put to craft though. It's just a plastic, like stretch. It's quite tight. I think I'll put that to craft. Oh, so we've got a few of these. I'll put them all into craft. Here's another one. That's empty. Got two plastic rose rings. They're still in quite good condition, so I might put those in um, a bundle. That one. Put the beads in. Crap, they're just plastic. Mardi Gras beads. Ninety-five. Marked up there. It's Mother of Pearl. I'm probably a CZ. Yep, and your chain is marked as well. So it's marked there and there. Um, and then there on the lobster. 
So there we go. Nice bit of silver. That's maybe um, 16 to 20 pounds worth. Put that there. Oh, they have a charger wire. Well, that's new. I have never pulled one of these out of a jewelry bag before. But super handy because my son's tab uses that charger. This is a new one. A capsule. Brand new with tags. Doesn't say how much it was. Oh, it's missing pieces. I thought that was the design. But it's not. It's actually missing pieces. What's in here? Oh, I'll craft. I'll go back to craft as well. It's just plastic pearls. Um, okay. Well, they're funky. I like them. They were eight pounds. Very boho. They might do me for the summer. Hey, this magnet. Use the magnet to check for the littler things. You know, if there was a load of little things, you could just tap along because like that, that's not real, so that'll stick. But silver and gold doesn't stick. Okay, nearly done this bag. Classics. They were £6 originally. Put them into craft. Or a bundle. Um, not got a maker's mark on it. Maybe just clasp look. There we go. It's actually quite nice. This is glass. So I could wait to. So a nice colour still. So yeah, we can put that in a bundle and then just plastic beads on a silky satin ribbon. So we'll put that into craft. So there we go. That's worth the, what was this one? Was this the 2 99 one? So a nice sterling silver necklace and earrings for me. Okay, next one. Four ninety nine. Okay. Oh, see these wires, these necklace wire necklaces. Ah, what do you do with that? I don't know what to, oh no, okay, this one came straight out, so um okay, so we're gonna put this straight into craft, okay? Because do you know what? I might put some of these just straight in the bin. Because they're quite bad. Oh my lord. Well, let's get the magnet out of the way. You're not helping. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try and untangle this and we'll save some time. I'll pause you. Okay, so this was impossible. So I've gone through all of these wires and chains and other than these glass beads there's nothing really else in this bundle that i would keep so i'm going to put this whole lot into craft and then what i did manage to get out of all that were these this which is broken this i mean the whole lot it just feels like it um, like it's rusty or something, I don't know. And then there's this. Okay. 
Oh, please don't be more triangles. Not very patient now. This one's really tangled in the top. That's the BHS necklace. Still on its card. Cannot get this one off. So this has got a gold chain and a not real silver pendant and there's a mark on there. And there's a mark on there. So there's tiny, tiny, tiny little stamps on these. And so I'll get my look let's get this off because you are not real here's it's a good sign let's have a look see See anything? I see a mark there, but nine k. See markers. I see the other side. I think there's more stamps on this, but Yeah, I'll say marks 375 up there. Oh, sorry. So, there's a full set of assay marks on this little ring here. Now let me check this one again. Yeah, and that one says 9K. So, 9K on this. Then assay marks on this with 375. I have no idea the assay office. I cannot see it clearly enough. It's quite old. No, I cannot see it. But that's gold. And the fact that it's got some assay marks on is really good. So, that's a good one. Maybe we've got our other silver. Oh, it's there. So we found gold and we found silver. What are you? You have a mark too. And that's a beautiful ring. It's got some piercing either side. That's a really nice purple amethyst. Let me see what your mark is. Nine two five. Yep. Looks silver as well. I would say that was silver. Lovely. Gold and silver in this bag. Does that fit? Oh, it's just a little bit small for me. That's nice. Right, so that's not real. Okay, so we're going to put that into our Right, let's get back to it because I've totally got distracted there. So these were these brand new ones on the cards. Some earrings stuck in there. So, okay, one, two, three. 
BHF. And they're all BHF. So we will probably just put these into craft. So quite cheaply made. And next watch. Put that into craft. Just the costume ring. I don't want any silver. Um, is it? I don't know why they would glue a rhinestone on like that. Well, it might be. That scratch is quite good. I just bent the ring doing it. Yep, silver. So, what have we got? Be a bit of art glass. Yeah, it's art glass in a sterling ring. But the, some of the rhinestones have all came off. But it's silver. It's gone that oh, lovely red that we're looking for. It curdles into a nice blood red. It doesn't fizz away. It would go like green or fizz orange or something. So these, these could possibly be glass or they could possibly be um, garnet maybe. I'm not sure. I'll put them in a bundle. This is just a silver tone bracelet and it's missing. It says it's 95. Yes. But it's missing stones. <sighs> Not sure. Let's try. Well, it never lasted away, and we'll try again. I'll show you. Yeah. See? But usually on 95, the backs would be open. You know, on the stones. You know, um, well, and they are stones. Are they just dyed stone? Let's try. Scratch is all right. Yep, we have to go so far. I'll let it settle. See. Oh, no silver. That one will probably go into scrap and that will probably go into scrap. Just because they're not um, in the best of condition. So, anyway. Now. I like this. This is nice. It's not marked, but it's got um, a little bit of gold coming off on this ear. No, not marked. Nice though. So. For a bundle. Definitely for the bundle. These are funky. Plastic. 
other girl. So, I do. Mark you got married. Okay. Nine to five CD. Learn some China overseas. So this is sterling silver. I don't want to keep it on checking, but I don't understand how they can't like they're not obscure marks like they're really obvious in your face mark yep that's from sterling as well so we've done uber well <laughs> what have we got left a watch from next and two earrings which I think are silver as well because um I've had a bracelet of this design, yeah. Nine two five. I don't think the backs are marked. Yeah they are. Nine two five. Yeah, nine two five. Need a good clean, but they are lovely. We'll stick that in a bundle. Okay, so got some good stuff here. Last bag. <coughs> so, not, I don't know if we. We maxed out on the good stuff. Oh, that's a shame that's broken. Because these are nice. Just trying to find the end of the tree. Stuff on the bracelet. Can you get stuck in there? There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew you were silver. So let's have a look at you. Oh, Mark, I mean, I think this is nine two five, but you always have to be double double check. It's not white gold, and it's a something else. So double check your numbers. Hmm. Definitely three numbers there. I'm gonna assume it's silver because it's that type of chain. It's not got the lot of fine butteriness of gold. I have a bauble or something. That's unusual. Put that to craft. So I'm gonna put this to craft because this is broken here. But that's a shame. It's like an African tribal kind of mini beef. These are opia. Costume jewellery, put them to craft. Just plastic beads, put that to craft. Two silver bangles, I don't think they're anything. So yeah, that one, same as that one. Mm. 
Hmm. It's broken. If someone really wanted to read it, to read it up. It looks like one of the Trafari styles, doesn't it? I can't see a name on it. Mane or something like that, but put that to craft. Uh, owls. Just on a silver tone. Some full turquoise. Yeah. Uh, bundle. Oh, that's nice. Like a wire wrap uh, glass bead bundle. Which is fancy. It's actually quite nice. I don't usually like the chokers, but that one's a fancy one. The dangles. Put that into a bundle defo. Yeah. Oh, some tight. Oh, there's a few stones missing. That's what I was looking for. Do you think we maxed out on the gold and silver on the other two bags? <laughs> Um, it's a little rhinestone which is nice. It was what you would call a statement necklace, eh? Looks like it's got all the beads. Yeah. Put that in a bundle. Uh, these are glass, like the black. Oh, there's a stone missing there. That's nice then. Put it to craft. Craft. I've had so many of these. It's quite a funky one though. These are, the silver ones are like a magnetite. It's like a man-made hematite. Um, put that to craft and that to a bundle. Oh, what are you? Oh, what are you? Hang on, hang on. Right, don't get your hopes up because a lot of the time these these types of ones are um they won't they're either a low quality silver. Actually, it looks like this one might be. Oh, they're not silver at all. Yeah, no. It's not sterling anyway. You can see. Whoa, don't want that acid to roll off. See, no red. No bueno. Uh. A nice torque bangle. It's quite tight. Looks definitely tribal, isn't it? So that'd be nice. Um, might, that one might go and be sold on its own. Actually, I might pick that one. Well, that was fun. As I went to reach down for that, the entire camera fell down. So, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think I'll stick maybe stick this online on its own. So the next one is a gold tone. It's a bit rough around the edges. I'll maybe just stick that into craft. And we have a swatch watch. Remember swatch watches? Hmm. I need to have a look, see if they're worth anything. 
I don't know. This is like the Celtic knot, isn't it? I don't think that's silver. Does not look like it, nor is it. And I'll put that into craft. Um, Get my hair bobble out. So let's see. And W B E L S eighteen. The magnetic closure and a castle. <laughs> it's one of the most random things. So it's gold tone. I have no idea what that means. And another hair bobble. Everything is tied around the hair bobble. Claire's accessories. Another Claire's accessories. Oh dear. Load of thread as well. I don't know what is going on here. Right. Oh my lord. So this is the gold owl. Take you apart. Okay. Let's just see you are to begin with. Right, so a plastic like rhinestone with a very worn silver chain. So we're gonna put that into craft. Um, we have some nice genuine stones here. I'm not sure about the silver beads, but the pearls I can tell you are real. Tiny little seed pearls or rice pearls. It's nice, very unusual, no clasp. Oh no, there is a clasp. It's a barrel to its clasp. No, it's a magnetic clasp. <laughs> Just look how good I'm doing. Oh, I'm on fire. Well, that's quite nice. I'll definitely put that in a bundle. Very simple costume ring. I'll use a feather, for like a little anklet. Put those to craft. Oh, I don't know how much I want to go digging in this. We have a nice ring here. It's tarnished down here. There. Put that into craft. What have we got here? It's like a horseshoe with a very worn seam. Doesn't feel like silver. A little bit magnetic as well. I'll put that into craft. Right. Let's 
spread some of this out. Okay. I will clip on um, unicorns. They're really worn, though. We'll put that into craft. We have so that's a nice carving. That's a stone. Is that the no, just gold tone. They're quite worn. These ones. Our clip ons, they say 2003. Quite sure that's not the year, maybe the design number or something. Okay, these are glass. So just one long. No, there's this. There. This would be a nice necklace for Christmas. That's nice, isn't it? Class. I'll definitely put that in a bundle. Um, I don't think you're anything. That one. Hmm. Not silver, but it's nice. I don't know how you fasten it. Oh, I know. It's already fastened. That is nice. And it's got all the stones, so. So then a bundle. Uh, give it to craft. Ugh. Oof. I don't think anything in here is anything good. I think we maxed out with the other two bags. Silver. It's a nice cross. I broke my other cross actually, so I like the petite little crosses. Right, crafting that, aren't you? How many hair bubbles are in this one? Another hair bubble. JJ. Oh, JJ. This little horse. I don't think it's silver. It doesn't look like silver. It's too shiny. Um, put that in a bundle as well. It's, it's nice enough. No, I don't think anything in here it would be worth keeping or reselling. A little Disney thing here, but nothing special. So yeah, I'm gonna craft that one. And we have a stick pen. You can always check them. Check them for a mark just in case. I don't think this is anything. It's nice that it's got its um end though. I know. But nice enough for a bundle, I think. Um so we found the other earring. They're quite worn though. That one says two thousand. 2003 as well. 
and I'll probably craft these. Craft that. Still got this tag. It was meant to be like a bit of a, you know, just a scratched kind of dented look. I'm not sure. And we just have, do we have the other earring? No. An odd earring and a knife. Hmm. It says Couture Collection. Look what it says on the back of that watch. Wow. Well, has a like a saying in French here. I'm not going to try and repeat it. Something really stylish about this watch. And it check the maker for that one. Uh, we're putting those into craft and I will uh, put that into a bundle with the other one. So we did quite well. Keeping these for me. Trying to get the light back in after everything went fly about. I need to check out these two watches. Um, this could maybe go on its own. That's for scrap. Nine two five, nine two five, nine two five. We have a nice nine two five chain with a cross, gold chain. Needs a good polish. That's old. I'd really like to be able to read the assay mark, see where that was, or when that was made. And a nice 925 um, necklace with Mother of Pearl and a CZ. I think that's quite a good haul. Let me see if I can give you a closer look. So I'm happy with that for thirteen pounds. You can't, we can't say that's not worth thirteen. That lot there. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I just had to get the jewelry bags done before I did another haul video. I was just so excited that I had them. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will upload again soon. Thank you. Bye.